Welcome, and thanks for stopping by. It's time to say goodbye to that summertime heat as we check out the collectible holiday action figure of Heat Miser from NECA. Also, keep watching to the end of this episode so you can see what collectible I'll be showcasing next time. So, let's check out the packaging box artwork of Heat Miser first, followed by the action figure, here on Nerd Maisie. The packaging is pretty much identical to the Snow Miser figure I reviewed earlier, which I'll leave a link to that episode in the description below as well as at the end of this video. The front of the art card shows the snowy white North Pole Village and the Heat Miser figure in front of it. The top of the packaging has the show's name, The Year Without a Santa Claus, which is a Christmas show Heat Miser is featured in. It's awesome that they used the claymation show image of Heat Miser next to his name at the bottom. The back side of the packaging again has the claymation show's name, but it also showcases the additional figure characters that were released back in 2007 by NECA with this line. There are also additional logos related for this series at the bottom. So, let's go ahead and unbox this Heat Miser holiday action figure now. Here I have the figure of Heat Miser ready to unbox. Now I wanted to show you that the clear plastic that conforms to him and secures the figure is also sealed to the art card on the edges right here on all sides, so removing this figure will destroy this. I also wanted to show you he is also additionally secured with the twist ties right here at his arms as well as his feet. So give me one second to get this figure out of his packaging to showcase to you. Here is a Heat Miser figure unboxed and ready to showcase. So let's take a look at him. Here is the view from the front, the view from the left side, the view from the back side, his right side, as well as the view from the top, and a view from the bottom. Now let's go ahead and check out the articulation starting from the head and working our way down to the feet. His head spins at a 360, like so. The arms, they move, or at the shoulder, they actually move at a 360, right here, as well as this arm as well. The hands rotate at a 360, if you can see that. And that's gonna be for both hands. As for the legs, there is rotation right there for this leg as well as for this leg. And that's about all the articulation that this Heat Miser has. So let's go ahead and check out the scale of this figure. The Heat Miser holiday figure is stated to be at 7 inches tall or 17.78 centimeters for my metric friends out there. Measuring the figure myself, it actually is 7 inches tall. Here I place the Heat Miser figure next to Snow Miser as well as an additional size figure to give you a sense of scale. So let's go ahead and place this Heat Miser figure on the spinner so we can check out more details on him and see what fun action poses we can achieve with it. First and foremost, this figure looks amazing overall from every side. The color on this collectible is extremely vibrant and it feels like I own a movie prop from the Claymation show expression is spot on with that grumpiness on his face and that snarl forming on his mouth. The eyes look great as they show off Heat Miser's bad attitude that he has on the show, though I wish they added a bit of pink around the puffy eyes to match the show version. You know, I think this is the first time I realized that Heat Miser's ears are red. I just don't think I ever noticed that from the show since they transitioned so well to his flaming hair. The flaming hair is spot on, Loving the gradient colors to each flame of hair and the vibrancy of it all. Good job to NECA on this part. When it comes to the clothing, it doesn't seem too bad. Like the claymation figure from the show, the clothing has a sparkle look throughout, from torso to feet. If you can see, you get a bit of that ripple look in the clothing as it conforms around Heat Miser's rotundness. Not sure of the term for those triangle cut shapes that form around the collar and end of his shirt, but I really like how they're done, especially at the end of the shirt where they curl out in various degrees and angles organically. The feet look good and even have that elfish toe curl to them, which I always thought gave off a magical quality to a character when they wore this type of footwear. The hands are nice and don't look too bad for a closed fist version, but I wish they could have been a bit more dynamic. Having one of the hands doing the pointing motion like the image used on the packaging front were even better having one of the hands holding a fireball like he does when he throws them at Snow Miser. If you're enjoying what you're seeing so far and want to be part of the Nerd Amazing community so you can stay up to date when new episodes get released, consider subscribing to Nerd Amazing. Also, give that like button a click as it really helps out the channel. 
Plus, if you want to discuss this action figure with me, drop your comment below for me to respond back to. Heat Miser and Snow Miser are brothers, even though Snow Miser refers to Heat Miser as his stepbrother. Yet when Mother Nature summons them both, they both call her mom. Heat Miser is grumpy and very hot tempered. He is always feuding with his brother Snow Miser since they were kids and truly can't stand the cold. Heat Miser also has some very interesting nicknames that he refers to himself as, such as Mr. Green Christmas, Mr. Sun, Mr. Heat Blistered, and my favorite, Mr. 101. It was Heat Miser who shoots down the elves Jingle and Jangle as he attempted to save Christmas while Santa was taking his first ever vacation. The Year Without a Santa is a classic claymation created by Arthur Rankin and Jules Bass. The creators of the animated Hobbit movie, The Last Unicorn, and those classic holiday claymation movies that feature Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and Jack Frost, the ones we all love and know, just to name a few. Heat Miser was voiced by the late and talented George S. Irving, who was an amazing performer on Broadway in his early years, and also an amazing voice actor who lent his talent to such animated shows such as Underdog, Go Go Gophers, and more. Well, this Heat Miser figure from those holiday claymation classics was fun and nerd amazing to showcase to you. I can't wait for the upcoming holidays to display this figure as well as watch that show. Unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be any link to this figure on the NECA website since this is an older collectible that came out in 2007. But you can still find this figure for sale on a variety of online websites to purchase, which is what I had to do for not too bad of a price. Here's my favorite part of the show here on Nerd Amazing. That's giving you a sneak peek of what I'm going to showcase next time. So you ready to know what that is? Well, it's going to be... From NECA, it's Michelangelo as the Mummy, part of the Universal Monsters and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles crossover series. Boy, does he have a face only a mummy could love. Can't wait to showcase this ultimate action figure collectible. Well, now that you saw the Heat Miser figure review, perhaps you want to check out his brother, Snow Miser. Or maybe these collectibles are more your liking. Feel free to click one when you're ready. Well, thanks for joining me here at Nerd Amazing. And to all my Nerd Amazing fans out there, again I say to you, be passionate in what you do, share your passion with others, and be kind to one another, as this world can always use more goodness in it. This is Adam with Nerd Amazing, and I'll see you next time.